amigos, it's the NR Dub, Nerds Rule the World, back to do another infamous trailer reaction. And this one I'm kind of excited for, Heather. I don't know about you. I enjoyed the first joint, but we are getting Joker. Holy Adu. I don't know if I said that right. Holy Adu. Holy Adu. Um, are you excited for this one? Did you enjoy the first Joker? Uh, that's such a, such a difficult subject. Um, I did enjoy it. I unfortunately think it was completely overshadowed by some very, very terrible human beings. Um, Joker was, it, it was an incredible movie. Did it absolutely destroy, deserve the Oscar nom? I'm not 100% sure, but Joaquin Phoenix is going to get a, an Oscar nod no matter what. Um, but it's one of those where it's, it was an incredible movie. Um, my feelings about the fandom, uh, it, it got toxic and it got bad. And it actually caused a lot of people to either not see it or not enjoy it. Um, and mm -hmm. part of that did affect my opinion of the film. Um, because it, opinion is based off of what is accepted. Um, and the PR team, Warner Brothers, did not squash that problem and they actually kind of fed into it which mm. was a problem for me and i'm a big warner brothers child and a big dc girl and it was actually deeply deeply distressing to see that warner brothers kind of accepted the absolute hatred and toxicity that was born out that was born out of the joker fandom um, because the movie was very good it was very good um and i won't deny that i'm also kind of nervous about this one about how much i'm going to appreciate it from a personal perspective and let's talk let's see the trailer and then we can get into that so awesome thank you heather we didn't know y'all was gonna get hit in the head out the gate i don't know but i love what heather's i love heather just sh shows her truth she leads with her truth i love it that's why she's my pal let's get into joker what do did i do that right again yeah you did it you're, you're fine you're fine right, let's you're, go. Mostly, you're mostly doing french right <laughs> I, I I took French. Anyway, here we go. Let's go, boy. Show Mikey, Mikey. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole to balance the fractures within ourselves. I love I'm nobody. that color palette. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. God. Ooh. Yo. All right. Let's go. Only in theaters. Filmed for IMAX. Joker. Fole. Adu. Again, probably messing it up. Heather. I feel like. I feel like we're nerds rule the world. Nerds are winning right now. Um, Just the fact that a lot of our concepts can be taken to like the field of film and entertainment and highbrow and kind of take certain concepts and go like art. This is like art with comic art. You know what I'm saying? Seeing comic art is a high art film art. Um, some of those shots, scenes, just 
man, like, I know there's some some issues with certain things, as you stated earlier, and different people and personalities, and yeah, that's part of the trash part of our industry and things that we love, but it's in everything as well. Um, but man, it's just cool to be a nerd as a Joker fan, as a Harley fan, to see their love story done in this fashion as the the central theme and just man that's pretty sweet i i think that's really cool uh I, it's like elseworlds comics come to life um i know it's different from my stuff which is fine and that's what ner nerds and other fans need to learn there's true stuff you like even if it's not done in your fashion there's other books that are that's why there's so many different books and so many different things like enjoy what you love but don't hate on other people trying to expand the universe expand the ideas take new approaches that's what creating is all about mm -hmm. and uh you can always go back to what you love if you love that version of it but allow the people to run wild with their own versions and do their own thing and uh i'm i'm digging this this is like a, a elseworld story film brought to high art and that looks bananas i just love some of those shot selections that they created uh i just feel like the creatives like yo run free take this todd phillips do your thing dope i'm excited that was my first time seeing the trailer you know, I, I hold off on trailers. I, I literally didn't even know it was out. We got this. We got this trailer at like 11 p.m. last night from when we were recording this. So like, I haven't watched it yet. Either. Oh, okay. This was your first time too, because I know you do too. sometimes. So yeah, I, I I have a bad habit of watching stuff before we yeah. actually get it, unless it's like an indie film that we're just reacting to real quick. Um, yeah. So, so I what, haven't watched it yet. No. So what what did you think? What what is your aftermath of that? I, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. How about you? Um, I love the I, coming up what you just said. I love the artistic perspective that they put into this part of the into this Elseworlds story. Like it's absolutely okay to have a Joker that has this story, and, and there's and we also know that Joker has three main storylines that we don't know which is true, which is valid, where it is. And that's kind of the whole point of the Joker. It's we don't know his truth. Um, so having this fun take is or this take is beautiful. It's interesting. Why it needs to be a musical and why. Warner Brothers decided to cancel cut or take tax cuts on a whole bunch of other movies so that they could afford to make this one is strange to me. Yeah, um, why they that. turned the first film being so beautiful, being so different, especially coming as a comic book film and them turning this one into a musical just because they have Lady Gaga. This is a straight up musical? Yes, it's a musical. Um, oh, I think there were five, I think it said five or six musical numbers. Lady Gaga has proved that she is more than just her voice. And I think we owe her, along with many, many others, space to expand and grow their talents. And honestly, this becoming a musical, even if even if it's just one or two musical numbers, it's, it's really odd when yeah. with how we completed the last one. Um, yes, do they need to do more? Do they need to change up? Do they need to adapt? But why a musical? It seems weird. Um, then mm. there's the concept of uh, Harley Quinn and Joker are a volatile relationship no matter where you look at it. Um, also, Harley not being, um, Harlene not being a psychiatrist, but straight up yeah. already being insane. There's some elements to the concept as a comic book nerd that, pa that give me pause. Um, Agreed. More so because because once again, it's will how how will they use that relationship? One of the big complaints amongst the comic industry is that there is this concept that Joker and Harley are this perfect couple when they are far from it. It is incredibly toxic. It is Joker is unbelievably abusive and dismissive of of Harleen. Um, will they ex will Warner Brothers feed into the um to the gross? I'm going to call it the gross, e gross, egotistical white male element that is the Harleen and Joker relationship, or are they going to expose some much needed um, perspective of, of that relationship that it is not healthy in any way, shape or form, honestly, for neither of them, far less for Harleen, but, but it's not good for either one of them. I, I'm just... <sighs> You're you're in that weird space right now huh, with it. I, yeah, I don't I don't. Do I hope it is successful? Yes. Do I hope Warner Brother con, Warner Brothers confronts the toxicity around the film that is art that is still there that is still happening, one hundred percent. But I also won't deny that as a comic book nerd, I'm. Yeah. 
I, I, I see I'm red flags, but that does not mean I won't see it. Yeah. Uh, I got one more thing to say before we let, get up out of here, he Heather. Mm -hmm. First off, everybody, I'm Team Ivy and Harley. That that's the team I'm part of. Team Ivy and Harley. Even though you know we, it's cool seeing Joker and Harley, but Team Ivy and Harley all day, every day because of that toxicity. Um, I did not know it was a musical. I wasn't tracking that it was. So now I'm a little bit apprehensive to to what your to how your vibes are, Heather. Um, I don't mind it being a musical. I, I think you know play with genres. You know do your thing. Again, create art and, and expand things out. But we recently did the Color Purple review and check that out. And that dealt, you know, that try to, you know, bring songs during dark times. Joker's a dark ass movie. I don't know if I want musical with my Joker dark times. And like, that's what made Color Purple so hard for me. And everybody check out a review of Color Purple. I'm starting to feel that's kind of like now my vibes are going to be because you just, you know, as, you, I, as I was just informed because I didn't know, like you said, it was going to be a musical. So now that has me concerned because that's what took away from Color Purple for me. And now I'm like, I don't know. I feel some kind of way now. Like that trailer got me okay, good for. I can see musical stuff there, but one or two tracks okay. But I didn't know the whole movie was gonna be a musical. So now I'm like, ugh, I'm a little nervous, Heather. To be fair, that is the rumor. Okay. That there are multiple. That there are five or six musical numbers. Now come into the credits, correct us, get, but also give us citations. Don't just go, no, it's not a musical. We want. If I am wrong, prove that I am wrong because we will happily accept. That yeah. we are wrong. We can't. We we will we will accept that. But from everything I have read so far, we mm. are looking at a a minimum of multiple musical numbers, and it's primarily mm. because there is this assumption they're putting Lady Gaga into a box, and everyone knows on this channel we don't like boxes. Break those boxes. Let people learn and let people grow. Exactly, Heather. Thank you. Uh, as always, uh, let's see how this goes, y'all. Let's talk about it in the comments. Uh, I'll be reaching out to my contacts, so hopefully we can check it out, uh, give our advanced thoughts and everything. But there you go. Joker, fully ado, and I'm probably doing it. That, right no, you again. actually got that one. That's probably the closest you've gotten in back Hey! <laughs> there you go. Uh, my pal, Heather, your boy, Kuyi P. Our links in, are in the description below. But let's talk in the comments. Hit us up. Let's talk all things Joker as we lead to its release. Till next time, y'all. Your boy, Kuyi P. Heather Hurt. Nerds rule the world.